as i said earlier sodium balance is related to extracellular fluid volume and water balance the main regulator of sodium hemostasis is kidney and volume and constitution of the filtrate reaching the collecting duct depends on your glomerular filtration rate sympathetic tone and angiotensin which acts via aldosterone and antidiuretic hormone as i said earlier the normothermic extra renal loss or minimal around 10 ml per day but renal it is around 100 millimole per day so the three main organs which are uh, concerned with sodium hemostasis is kidney which is a main regulator of sodium balance followed by central nervous system and the vessel baro receptor which is related to the sympathetic system and the volume balance and kidney how it regulates the sodium balance through the renin angiotensin pathway finally aldosterone which is the main mechanism for sodium and water retention and from the central nervous system you have the antidiuretic hormone through arginine vasopressin again sodium reabsorption can happen and whenever there is a volume loss your baro receptor gets stimulated and automatically it leads to a pathway where volume retention can happen these are the various way where the sodium as well as the volume is regulated and you have some form of natriuretic peptide which comes from the heart to excrete sodium in case there is volume overload 